Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of F1 Manager 2022 here on the Chesnoy Place channel. Continuing on today with the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Imola. Really looking forward to this. Imola is a great circuit. I enjoy driving it on the F122 game when you're in control of the car. And uh, I'm not great at it, but it, once you get in a rhythm, it's such a fun circuit to drive. Hopefully, we can have a successful weekend here. So far with Lando Norris, we have three P9s in a row. And one P10 for Daniel Ricciardo and two finishes outside the points. Although in Australia... That was that was on us. Well, that was on chat, actually. Thank you. More to the point. So hopefully we can we can have a better week, better weekend here in Imola. I believe I'm led to believe that there isn't actually any sprint weekends in F1 Manager 2022. So it will just be a regular formatted weekend. I'm not sure the reasoning behind that, but I believe it is just it is just the regular three practice sessions, one quali. And one race, and indeed it is. So let's see what we can do for the sponsors. Reach Q2, we'll absolutely do that. Uh, Phoenix position. Uh, in a top 10 with at least one driver. That we can do, to be fair. That we can do with Lando. And then we're going to try and keep up the qualifying, or start a qualifying streak again to get some more money there. And the Finnish position streak, hopefully we'll be able to do, but... I don't know if we can get Daniel in the top 12. He's not been quick so far. We've got things coming on the car, but they're not here yet. They're very nearly here, but they're not here yet. So Imola might be a little bit painful or might be more of what we've seen before. You can see there's some light rain on Saturday, but when during the day that is, I'm not sure. Qualifying hopefully will be dry, as will the race, and we'll set up in practice for the dry, evidently. So it's uh, time to go. 100% car park knowledge for both of them. Setup wise, I don't really know as we need to change anything again. I'm just going to jump straight into practice, lads. I'll try and sort out the setups as best I can. And I will see you periodically throughout the course of practice and qualifying. And then mainly for the race after that as well. As ever though, please do drop the video a like if you're enjoying this content. And make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any more. I am away for 10 days as you see this. So there may not be any uploads any further uploads past this one on the channel for almost two weeks. I apologise, but it's the last big, or it's the last holiday or break I'm getting before the FIFA 23 grind starts, so I'm making the most of it. And then we're back at it, probably back at it, for ever. Right, I'm going to jump to practice and I'll see you guys on YouTube in a sec. At the end of practice one, we only really ran the hard tyre number of others have run the softs and the mediums, so it's not really a rep true representation of what our lap time is like. But setup-wise, we are on the way to getting there, if that makes sense. We had a decent amount of um, progress in a number of areas, and they just need more laps where they are now. So we'll send Daniel... Ah, oh, those got given back. That's annoying. Oh, well, we'll send Daniel out on a set of mediums for... 20 laps again. And Lando. Do we tweak that anymore? We could tweak that a little bit more maybe. I'll give that another little bit of tweaking. And then we can send him out again as well. So in P2. In practice 2. We are 15th and 16th. But that's on medium tyres. Again. I did run some softs in that setup. In that. Um, I did run some softs in that session. But. Evidently, the setup wasn't good enough for it to actually make much difference to it. Setup confidence at the minute with uh, them both is probably late 50s, early 60s, which isn't great at the minute. I really need P3 to be a decent session. Hopefully, P3 is dry so I can actually get some good knowledge. We don't know when the light rain is coming or if it's going to last all day. It may last all day, which would be a real pain in the knob if it, if it does. Setup-wise, I'm just... I'm struggling here at um, I'm struggling here at Imola to try and nail it down. I'll try and get something sorted. Don't give up on me just yet. So after P3, uh, Lando's getting there. Lando's at 85%. Daniel's at 69 though, and I just haven't been able to get Daniel in the zone. But. It's time to go to qualifying, so there's not really much I can do here. We'll revert to Lando's best, which is great, 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 good. 
Daniel, on the other hand, is just great, great, good, good, bad. I just haven't found the sweet spot. I can't get his traction in the window, nor his braking stability. It's been tough, but it's quality time, so off we pop. We should hopefully be able to get through to Q2 quite comfortably, I hope. And then, and then, um, Daniel, radio check. Q3 is just an unknown, really. Okay. Sorry, Q2 Radio is an unknown. Sessions it is should be starting. Gonna, there is the chance of rain in five minutes' time, so I am going to send drivers out early to make sure we get a lap in, just in case it starts to rain, and then obviously the, the lap times get away from us. Alpine are out first, and we're not going to be too far behind them, to be honest. We'll send Lando out first, and we'll send Daniel out next. Track temperature is coming down. Air temperature is coming down. It's going to rain soon, I think. We've got a smattering of it in practice. And I think we're going to get some in qualifying too. Is Lando going to get round in time? I might not have timed that well enough. Oh, Lando doesn't quite get to the line in time. That's annoying. So Lando's finished. Daniel, I don't know. I didn't see whether Daniel improved there or not. But Mick hasn't, crucially. Well, we're both through to Q2, which is good. We're both through to Q2, so... It's, it's a start. I just feel out of kilter here at the minute at Imola. I don't know why. I just don't quite feel like I'm in the right place for the race. Lando P10, Daniel P13, we're through to the next session. That's all we could hope for at the minute. Q2 time! Oh, don't rain! And really right, heavy rain in five minutes time. Yeah, all good. Heavy rain in five minutes time. Okay, so that's a green light. We need to go out and put a lap in now, please. Heavy rain in five minutes. Nobody else is going out. Oh, they are. They are now. They're pushing it close though. If it starts to rain, are we are we lucking into something here? Are we lucking into something here? There is heavy rain coming in a minute's time and only a handful of drivers are out. We might we might luck into a, a, a Q3 here. We haven't had a Q3 appearance yet, I don't think. Well, did Lando get through once, maybe? I can't recall, but I mean, it's raining, so everyone's putting in slow times. Lando is currently provisional pole and Daniel P2. The rain is drying up, but the session is running out of time and now it's raining even more. Two cars in Q3, lads. Two cars in Q3. And currently, Hamilton, Russell, Verstappen and Perez all going out. That's the first proper qualifying shock we've had. Sainz out. P15. Joe out as well. Hamilton, Russell and Bottas, Verstappen and Perez all man managed to get through in the end. Leclerc put a, a dry-ish lap in. But with two cars in Q3 here, that is a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful qualifying session for us. And we've still got Q3 to come. Lando Norris's lap on board then. So Lando Norris, oh, that sun's a bit awful. Right in your eyes into turn one. Lando's Q3 lap, currently P7, Daniel P10, hoping for an improvement with one or both of them. Even just lap time-wise would be great, but if we can do it positionally as well, then even better. But if anything, I think Perez is going to go faster than Lando and we might end up 8th and 10th. I don't think Daniel can get close to Magnussen and I don't think Magnussen could get close to Lando. So we might be P8 and P10 here, but P8 and P10 would still be our best qualifying performance of the season and put us in good stead to maybe get some points on the Sunday. Lando's lap so far is... Green in sector one. He's not set a personal best in sector two. Daniel has improved to go P8. And Magnussen has now improved to go P8. Lando, can we get a, can we get a green sector three? Can we get a personal best sector three, please, Lando? I'm not sure. Lando does improve his time, but stays P8. So it's 8th and 10th. 8th and 10th. We can, we can get double points from 8th and 10th tomorrow, can't we? 
We can get double points from 8th and 10th. His fastest lap was actually... He put exactly the same lap in in Q2. Sorry, in Q3 as he did in Q1. To the millisecond. Daniel was fastest in Q1 and then slower everywhere else. But his fastest lap throughout all of qualifying wouldn't have been fast enough to finish anywhere other than P10. Ocon behind will probably be faster than us. Gasly behind will probably be faster than Daniel as well. Outside of that... Well, then there's the science of Carla science as well. We will try and get Daniel into the points. Lando should be able to score half decent points, though. It's all about strategy again, rather than just outright pace. All right, let's go medium soft soft with Lando. He's got 90% confidence in his car setup. Medium soft soft with Lando on an aggressive power out, drive hard strategy all the way. And hope that tyres last. And then with Daniel, we're going to go out hard on the hards and then run a set of softs at the end. That's the plan then. Fuel-wise, we'll just manage it throughout the race, but we're, we're bang on. 63 laps for the 63 lap race. Starting 8th and 10th. Time to start the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix then. All right. The crowd are on we're their off. feet. One, two, three, four, five. Lights, lights out and away, and away we, go. we go. Go hard, go hard, go hard. Let's try and push up. Come on, boys. Let's go on board with Daniel. Daniel's already lost the position. Come on, Daniel. Oh, go on, Daniel. Maybe I should say come on, Daniel, more often. Get past him. Daniel, back into the points. Good job. Good job. Hopefully, Daniel's tyres last well. And if we want to bring him in early for a set of mediums, we can do. He's right on the back of K-Mag, though. K-Mag is there for the taking, certainly. We might have to use a bit of battery for Daniel momentarily. To try and get him past K-Mag and up on the, onto the back of Lando. Ocon is still right there, as are a number of others. You can see Sainz trying to battle hard to get through. The more cars we put between us and Carlos, the better. Although, surely it's only a matter of time before Carlos Sainz comes through. If we get a good exit here, could maybe go for overtake. Use overtake. Okay. Go on, Daniel. Go on, Daniel. Good lad, up to P9. And is he going to hold a position? He is. Top work, Daniel. Top work. P8 and P9 for McLaren right now. Now close the gap. DRS enabled. DRS enabled. No DRS this lap, though. Ah, no. Defend. k switching one that? way, then the other. Okay, understood. And Daniel keeps the position. Good lad! Might need to defend again, actually. No, we're all right. Yes, Daniel! Let's go! Now, do I deploy down the main straight, or between turns... Three and four. Deploy. Just dump the battery. Not quite. Not quite. Close the gap right up. Alonso is past now, though. Daniel's got DRS off Lando now, too, which will help Daniel defend from those behind him as well. We just need to try and get Lando past Bottas. You can use overtake there if you need it. He needs it! Go on! Go on! Be helpful if Alonso could disappear for us to get Bottas, but at the minute we might have the chance to get Alonso here. He's thinking about it. Go on, Lando. Be brave. Be brave. Go on, Lando. Good lad. Bottas two. Double overtake a little bit too, too much to ask for, perhaps. Pleased enough with that. We'll try and get Norris past Bottas. And we'll try and get Daniel past Alonso, if possible, down the main straight. Overtake button available. Confirm. Go on, Lando. Get it done. Good lad. Okay, Lando, Daniel too. Nice job. Maybe get Alonso. 
McLaren, gain a position. Oh, it's too late with the defend call. Bollocks. Proper DRS train though, isn't it? From Bottas. From Russell even. From Russell all the way down to Mick. That's the DRS train. If you look at the map. That's a hell of a DRS train. Bottas is right on George. George Russell's slow at the minute. On hards. Lando, this is not doing Lando's medium stint that much benefit at the minute. Just need George to speed up a bit. George speeds up a bit, then Bottas will lose DRS on him. There's definitely a P6 on here, isn't there, for, for Norris? Tire-wise, that's what everyone's on and what their wear is like. Because Lando's pushing so hard, his mediums are going faster than everybody else's. We can't get through here. I might switch Lando to a medium hard and avoid the extra pit stop because we've just been held up so much. Just a bit stalematey at the minute, isn't it? Thanks for following. Uh, Deaths, Kamikaze and Kegsy. Welcome to the channel, guys. DRS train is mad here, isn't it? Leclerc is only less than half a second, only four tenths of a second away from Verstappen. And Checo is similarly within half a second of Lewis as well. Red Bull pushing for that 1-3, but at the minute in 2-4. So they both come out 19th, which would be between Latifi and Albon. So if they come out here, what's the, what's the gap? What's the interval? So 30 seconds. Yeah, if I pit Lando, he'd come out, or either driver, they'd come out about five seconds behind Latifi, which is some free air. But not a massive amount of free air. I think someone's run wide. Ocon ran wide. That's good news for us, Let's actually. Take a closer look. If the okay. Alpine so is... There we have the Alpine. Yeah, he's off on the gravel. And they've gone wide. That's good news for us. They the Alpine won. losing time is great news for us. Oh, and the team had such high hopes. Because the Alpine is quick. It's definitely quicker than us. Go on, Lando. He's just randomly taken Valtteri Bottas. Good lad. Now, can we get Lando past George, perhaps? McLaren with a great overtake. And we put him into push, and we put him into overtake. Go, Lando. Get George as well. Go on, Lando. Get George as well. Whoa! What? The Williams coming out of the pit lane just completely screwed us. We were about to try and take George, and then there was a Williams coming out of the pit lane. And he went to go around the outside and nearly... Oh, and I had to get out of the throttle. Bollocks! That's cost us three seconds. Alonso's now 1.6 off um, Valtteri. So if we can get DRS here with Daniel and push him back up behind Alonso, we might be able to get Alonso as well. Okay, no, okay. Daniel! Daniel's out. Okay, Safety car. Safety car. Surely Daniel's out. I'm going to pit Lando for a set of hards. I'm going to run Lando to the end, but Daniel is out. Probably. Pit this lap behind the safety car, please, Lando. Oh, can you believe it? Just as we go on board, he's flown into the bloody wall. Is he out or can he recover from there? He's out! Daniel! Dickhead! Crash. Let's have a look. We were on board when it happened. He's locked up here. into this hairpin. Dear me. It's the exact same crash that we saw twice in practice. Sainz and, and Aston Martin, I think. The team are devastated. They'll be just when Daniel's just a, on a there. great run to get points, in a, and strategy was probably going to come to him, He's gone and put it in a wall. Oh, it's not going to help those that are telling me to... Telling me to sack Daniel. Could this work in our favour if no one else is pitting? It's a good stop. 2.6 seconds. So we are now hard to the end with Lando. We're now hard to the end. We'll have to manage tyres at the end. We will have to manage tyres. We're hard to the end. That's... Albon a lap down getting out of the way 
Only ourselves, Joe, Latifi, Albon and Stroll of Pitt. So the gap to the leader at the minute. That's what we're worried about now. Gap to leader. If that, if that stays under 30 seconds before everybody else pits, then we will lead the Grand Prix. Thanks for the follow on Athletic. Welcome to the channel, mate. I'm good, thank you, Leeds fan. How are you, mate? It is odd that no one else pit. You're right. I am, I am surprised at that. Just minding our own business at the minute, at the back. DRS is enabled. And now they're pitting. They're pitting now. We're going to gain 30 seconds on all of those guys. And we're not pitting again. Lando P7. That's awful strategy from some of the from the majority of the other field the other drivers there. Terrible strategy. They didn't pit under the safety car, they just pit two laps later. I'd agree, Steve. The, yeah. They definitely need to make better better strategy calls with safety car, etc. They haven't changed their strategy at all because of the safety car. They've just stuck to what they were on. Which has earned us a handful of positions here. Got a gap of two and a half seconds behind to mix. I might harvest a little bit of battery for a sec. Can we have a recharge on, please? Tyres are going to be absolutely fine yeah. to the end. Ocon, hopefully, we'll be able to pull away over the course of the next lap, though. Uh, no, Nan Roller. We've had three P9s and a P10. Points wise, with either driver. We might be good for a P6 or 7 here, maybe, if the tyres last, which they should do. But I definitely see Leclerc, Hamilton, Verstappen, Sainz all catching us. In fact, has Sainz pit yet? Yeah, he has. Leclerc down to Alonso are definitely going to catch us. Come on, Lando, go for it. Get him, 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 Keep going, go and go, 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 go. Get him, 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 get him. Go, 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 go. Ah. It's like the gap to Leclerc is just coming down and down and down. I know it's to Mick, but just in general, that gap. Having DRS or knock on is kill. Magnuson having DRS or knock on is killing us right now. Just as it, just as it was with Bottas and George, it's now Magnuson and Ocon, and they're just in the way. Just can't get past. Getting held up here is going to cost us any chance of a podium, really. Please get him. Please get him. Please get him. Please get him. Please. Oh, if it weren't for Ocon in the bloody way all the time, we could make a dive bomb. God, it's annoying. Go on, Lando. Yes, Lando. Get it done, boy. Well, let's get past this. Let's get past this Alpine as well. We're going to overtake for the for the straight. Tyres are all right at the minute. Tyres are okay. Come on, come on. Thank you for the follow, Charlie. Overtake there if now you use overtake and get him. Come on, McLaren car. Come on, Mercedes engine. Give me that straight line speed. Yes, P4. Go on, Lando boy. Yeah, that was a good job. P4 for Lando. Up the team papaya. Come on. And McLaren with a great overtake. Now, free air. Go gap them. We've got like 20 lap fresher tyres. We need to go and gap them. Tyres are still good to the end. Go, Lando, go, go, go! He's gapped them as well, look. He's off, Lando. He's gapping them. 1.2 back to Ocon now. Just driving to the distance. 2.5 to Bottas. Just driving to the distance, Lando, please. Daniel, the only retirement so far. And I think, actually, is that... Is that is Daniel the only retirement this season? Or did we have someone retire in another lap? Fastest lap of the Grand Prix, Lando Norris. Leclerc is with Leclerc is with Mick now. But they're in a they're in a bit of a 
gaggle here. And the longer the Claire gets held up, the better chances, the better chance we have of getting better points. Don't pit at all yet, boys. Please. Don't pit yet, Mick and Joe. Still can't get past me. It's because there's two. It's because there's two. He can't get past. Mick's doing a great job. Lando can't really close on Bottas. But at the minute, we don't really need to close on those in front. Because they still, they still need to pit. Yellow sector one. Is that, is that Bottas going slowly? Sounds like someone's no, it's up. not. It's uh, William is getting lapped again. Science locked up, which is good news for us again. Lando doesn't need to catch those in front because they all still need to pit. All three of them. Hold him up, Mick. Hold him up, Mick. Keep it going, pal. Less than 20 laps to go. Still, those that started on hards haven't pit. Captain Leclerc is eight seconds. As soon as he's released, we're in real trouble. Verstappen's really closed as well. With Leclerc being stuck behind those others for so long, Verstappen's really closed. Joe's on mediums as well. Don't Joe Guan Yu's in a great position at the minute as well on those medium tyres. I expect those that are in front, or basically everyone else that is left to pit, will go to softs at the end. They'll go hard soft. Mick's dropped to 12th now. He's just plummeted. Charles is now stuck behind K-Mag and Ocon again. Continually. See, this is where we were now. Charles Leclerc is now stuck where we were. Behind o Ocon and Magnussen. This is why it was crucial that we got past the two of them. And we've gapped them by five seconds. Otherwise, Leclerc would now be with us. On the back of us. Perez in the pits. Perez pit, lap 48. Bottas in the pits as well. So we're going to go to P2. Ocon and Magnussen in the pits as well. No, Leclerc is released. Leclerc is released. The gap is going to plummet. So we're P2. And it's just Russell left to pit. With Perez behind us on fresh softs. So he'll absolutely get us. And then Leclerc on his hards and Verstappen too. We're probably going to finish fourth. But Joe's only got 40% left on his mediums. He's probably going to pit again as well. Because he went soft medium. So then that means Hamilton and Sainz will be released. It's probably going to be a P6, a P6 for us here, I would have thought. Maybe, maybe worse if those soft runners actually get the chance to run at us. There's no, there's no way. What's the gap between? There's no way. They've lost 20 seconds, not 30 seconds in the pits. They should have lost 30 seconds. They've gained 10 extra seconds in the pit stops somehow. I don't know whether it's because I was on two times or what. But it's a, tw it's a 29 second pit stop loss at Imola. It's a 29 second pit stop loss. And they've lost 19 seconds, not 29. Gonna try and defend, but it's not gonna be anything I can do about this. Perez is coming through. We're gonna fall backwards now for the rest of the race. It's just a case of how far back we fall. Yep, I agree, Lando. Beat indeed. Hello, Ferrari. The gap back to Lewis is growing, though. So that's that's good news for us. At the minute, we're looking at a P4, which is still a great result, but no podium. I'm so annoyed at Daniel. It's so much easier when you're only concentrating on one car. <laughs> Sainz has passed Hamilton as well. Carlos Sainz might get us before the end. What tyres is he on? Worn hards. Okay, he shouldn't get us before the end, but he might do. Leclerc is still setting purple sectors. Both Ferrari are setting purple sectors. Oh, God. Hamilton crashed. It was Hamilton now, that crashed. This. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. And there, oh, where have we seen that before? It's the exact same crash. 
No safety car, please. I do not want a safety car. There is no safety car. They've gotten rid of it, thankfully. Oh, if there was a safety car there, it would have plummeted. Is Lewis actually continuing? Lewis managed to get out of the wall and is continuing, which is something Daniel wasn't able to do. He's not got a front wing. But he is able to continue. That's why there wasn't a safety car. Seven laps, the, seven seconds the gap. Seven laps to go. Now we're just waiting. Just watching that gap shrink. And now we're just waiting. Four seconds. We're going to get a P4, lads. Thanks to... Ironically, thanks to Daniel Ricardo's. Thanks to Daniel Ricardo's accident. We're going to get more points with one car than we would have done with both. So as a team, we've actually benefited from one of our cars retiring. But only because we had our noggin switched on and pit behind the safety car. Thank you, Type and Ernacho, for the follows, guys. We're going to get a P4, which is going to be the best result of the season by a mile. It may even be the best result we get all season. Checo's on the last lap. Sergio Perez is going to win the Grand Prix. Leclerc will finish in second. Verstappen in third. And provided Sergio... Uh, sorry, provided Carlos Sainz to close up two and a half seconds on the final lap. Uh, we will finish in P4. Which will be a phenomenal result. Tyres are on the edge now. Two seconds to gap, under two, but there's only half a lap to go. Provided we don't get a puncture right now, we'll be okay. Come on, Lando. Even with a puncture, just go over the line, Lewis Hamilton style. Checo wins. Leclerc second. Verstappen third. And Norris fourth. Perez has crossed the line first. You can keep pushing if you want to. P4! 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 Wow! If you're watching on YouTube, that deserves a like. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, Simon. Well, Simon, welcome to the channel, mate. Another driver locked up. Oh, we don't care. Ocon in ninth. Magnussen in tenth. That might help us actually close the gap on... Um, on Alpine. Like Might help us close the gap on Alpine in the uh, constructors as well, actually. We might jump up a position in the constructors, perhaps even. The whole field has now nearly finished. Some tactical, strategical genius from Daniel Ricciardo to crash in a wall and bring out a safety car. And then... We just kind of lucked into it from there. Unfortunately, we weren't able to hold on for anything more than a P4. But, I mean, a P4 is still great. McLaren in real life would be delighted with a P4. We're thrilled with a P4 here as well. We'll take it. Thank you very much indeed. Oh. Lando Norris can be proud. What a fantastic performance from him. Well done, Lando, mate. Oh, I'm under the map. Hashtag Team Papaya, hashtag Team Quadrant. A fantastic Up the McLaren. For McLaren there. Indeed, the team has Up the Mazzers. Technical skill, as well as a great deal of heart. Danny Ricardo binned it in a wall. TR. The end this weekend in fifth place in the constructor standings. Coming up next, the teams will be taking a trip to the Sunshine State. The hard Miami the next, yes. For a captivating race at the Miami Grand Prix. At the Miami Grand Prix. Thank you. Karun, a P4. Daniel, the only retirement of the Grand Prix. Moves Lando up two places to eighth in the drivers. Daniel's down two to 13th. And in the constructors, moves us up two to fifth by a point ahead of Alfa Romeo. Up the Mazzas. And we're now P4. 
P5 in the championship, which is where the board want us to be. I might start putting Stoffel, might start putting Stoffel Van Dorn into the, um, into Daniel's car in P1. Sorely tempted to replace Daniel, but we lost a million dollars to Lando for getting a uh, because he reached his bonus of sixth or higher. But overall, we make a profit of $3.128 million on that Grand Prix weekend. Now it's a case of finding out what the hell's happening everywhere else. Board confidence is medium still. Right. Uh, yeah, we know about the low speed. Exceeding expectations. Way! Thank you very much. Right, we're going to run out of wind tunnel and, uh, and hours. I mean, oh, I can't. I can't do anything. I can't design anything else. I'm already designing something, so I literally can't do anything else on that front. We're designing a new front wing. And we're designing a new um, a new floor as well. Current projects. Ten days left on the front wing. Not sure how long there is until the Miami Grand Prix. Uh, in one week. I might not. Oh, yeah, look, front wing design complete, but then we've got to manufacture it. Once it's designed, we've got to manufacture it. That chassis is going to complete manufacturing in six days' time, though, which is great. But I literally can't. I literally can't use anything else in the. Um, what do you call it? I can't develop anything else because I haven't got any um, slots available. So we're not going to be able to utilize or maximize our wind tunnel and. Uh, what's, the, what's the other one called? It's like MA, MA something, isn't it? I'm not too familiar with it, to be honest. It's not my not my forte. Uh, MAU hours remaining. I'm not sure what MAU stands for. But we can't do anything else there. So it's just a case of advancing at the minute, I think. Manufacturing complete. A new chassis. Lovely. Now, is that good enough? Is that an improvement? Let's have a look. Go to car setup. No, it's just a, the manufacture of another chassis, which thankfully we did need because Daniel bloody binned it. Well, I don't know whether we need to change the chassis, actually. It hasn't actually d specifically told me that, has it? Board confidence check-in. Uh, right to before the board. Satisfied with my work. That's good. I would expect a good result in your board review in three months' time. Ta very much. Fiscal report is good. We've got nearly $50 million in the bank. And the monthly car report is that we are actually getting worse. Low speed compared to the rest of the grid. But hopefully when those new bits arrive, we'll make a jump forward. We hope and pray. Important email. New ATR period, but again, gearbox in poor condition. Daniel's gearbox reduced performance. I have to change gearbox for Daniel. Let's put a new gearbox in, annoyingly. Install on car. Well, that sucks. Kind of brought on by Daniel's, um, Daniel's crash, I imagine. 41% condition on Lando's, actually, which isn't great. Have to be changing gearbox on Lando soon, too. Anyway, continuing forward. The design is complete now on the front wing. So now we can manufacture that. Let's manufacture that front wing. Let's manufacture two of them. I don't want to rush it, actually. Actually, no, let's manufacture four. Four front wings at a cost of $400,000. That's fine. Kraken. Now then, can we actually design anything else? We can. So, it's... It's the low speed where we suck at the minute. But we're also... We're basically rubbish everywhere, really. We've got new suspensions. What will get chassis will get us more straight line speed. An engine cooling. We've done a front wing. Hmm. It's either 
rear wing or chassis. I think actually because of the DRS, let's do a rear let's do a rear wing. Let's put loads of hours into this. Let's really improve. Let's put 20 hours into that. Design focus on a new rear wing, please. Uh, and we'll put we'll put three engineers on it. It's going to cost me 700 grand. That's fine. Never before in my life have I said that sentence. <laughs> and I think we're... Are we at the Grand Prix? No. Now we're at the Grand Prix, I think. Front wing. Uh, da -da -da -da, new front wing. Manufactured so we can install it on our cars. They both have... Oh, no, yeah, we can put that. Install on car one. Install... Why won't it let me install? Oh, because they're not manufactured yet. <laughs> well done, Ches. Design is complete, but they need to be manufactured first. Then they can go on the car. So it is Miami next. Performance targets, qualifying position. I'll say reach Q2, but we're not going to go for Q3 because I don't think we'll get that. Uh, finish position, one driver in the top 10. We should be able to do that again in Miami. And hopefully the streaks will continue as well. So I think we're all set for the Miami race weekend, which means that's the end of this video. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Our best performance with one car of the season so far. And as a result, the best performance for both cars as a team for the season so far. Sorry, Daniel. But um, unfortunately, <laughs> you're crashing. Help the team. I am so sorely tempted to think about replacing Daniel, but I'm torn as to what to do at the minute. I don't know who else I could put in the car that would be any better. So for the time being, we will stay as is. But I might look into, depending on how Daniel does in Miami, I might look into replacing Daniel Ricciardo after Miami, potentially. That's all for this video, though. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up, as ever, of course. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on more. As I mentioned at the beginning, probably no videos now for about a week and a half. Maybe up to two weeks, but hopefully sooner than that. I'm back on the 11th, so I'm streaming again on the 12th, provided jet lag isn't too much of a bitch. And then hopefully videos again from the 13th, but it might be the 14th, and if it is, forgive me. That's all for now, though. Cheers, lads. I'll see you next time.